My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and today I'm sharing a quick and easy recipe for oven fried apple turnovers. So let me show you what you'll need for the recipe. You're going to need two apples, medium or large. I prefer Granny Smith, but you use whatever apple you prefer to bake with. You're gonna need some cinnamon, nutmeg, sugar, lots of melted butter, and you're going to need eight to 10 biscuits. Now, you don't wanna get the grand large biscuits, just the regular size biscuits. You're gonna need eight to 10 of them. Um, my store only sold these smaller little tubes of biscuits, and that's why I have two, so that I'll have 10 biscuits. So let's get started. So we're gonna start out by rolling out our biscuits. You can use your hands or you can use a rolling pin. And I love this little rolling pin. You want your biscuits to be about four inches. And I love this little baking mat that I picked up. This is not a paid advertisement, but I did get it from um, Ikea. And as you can see, it has the little measurements around so you know if you're rolling something and you need it to be four inches, five inches, you name it. So we're just gonna roll them all out and then just set them to the side. Next, we're just gonna peel and chop up our apples. You want these pieces to be pretty small, bite-sized pieces. So I just finished chopping up everything. I have about a cup and a half of apples here. So let's get our cinnamon sugar mixture going. I've got, um, I just added my sugar into the bowl along with some nutmeg and my cinnamon. Just give it a good stir. Next, you're gonna take about 75% of that cinnamon sugar nutmeg mixture and pour it into those apples and just toss them around. Okay, so now all you're gonna do is take a couple of tablespoons of that, uh, of the apples, put them in the center, and just fold that biscuit dough right over, just like that. And then just press the sides down. Okay, so this next part is gonna be a little messy. So what you're gonna do, carefully pull up your little pastries. And if the edges are starting to come apart, all you gotta do, just press them back down. You're gonna dunk this in the melted butter. Yes, it's gonna be super messy. And then you're gonna dip the top portion in the remaining cinnamon sugar nutmeg mixture. So let's go. And then I've got a parchment lined cookie sheet right there. You're gonna place it right on top. Okay, so I've got all of my little turnovers on the baking sheet here, and I'm just pouring that extra butter right on top. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna pop this in the oven and let these bake for about 15 or 20 minutes or until they are nice and golden brown. Okay, so I ended up baking these for exactly 20 minutes and here they are, a super quick and easy dessert. I have an entire playlist of easy desserts and I'll link um, that playlist in the description box as well as a link for the recipe as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and we will see y'all next time.